actual reason that the color on the houses in uh, Redos is brown. Before 1970, it was a factory burning copper. And the pollution of it, the pollution of it was so heavy that <laughs> the houses in the in the Redos was colored brown. And today you can see this settlement with 3,000 people here. Uh, and a lot of houses here is, is uh, colored brown or like burned colored. And this is the reason. <laughs> the smeltery was built here in 1646. It is really long time ago. And the copper was refined to pure copper. The smelting process required water power to drive the billows. The smelter and therefore built close to the river. Inside in the Rudos factory, smelting factory, uh, which now is uh, a museum. And I'm excited to see her around here. Things being said about the pollution and stuff, you have to remember that the, the mine, uh, the mine uh, was the reason that people settled down here in Nerevas. And from 1946 until today, uh, it is pretty much that, that cause, that the um, uh, town. Smelting factory was private, and 10% of all melting was given to the King of Denmark, uh, which was owning Norway until 1814. You can still see the rails inside the museum. I believe they were used to to move around the copper right outside those walls. Actually, a mining town uh, and one of the oldest settlements in uh, in Eredos here is just outside those walls. Uh, it was Germans who found copper here in 1644 and in 1646 by blessing of the king of Denmark and Norway uh, yeah, then, yeah. Uh, it was built a factory here uh, in 19, uh, it's 1645 it was built the first church and it was 30 people working outside here on the mines and uh, I guess it was around like 30 60 people working in this factory with melting and this is 7 kilos of copper clean copper that Rurus produced here before uh, electricity was really really uh, energy demanding and uh, people who was working here and in the glory time in 1700 uh, it was estimated 2,000 people was involved in, in, in mining in this area and people was actually moving from different parts of Sweden uh, and nearest parts of Norway uh, into Reus. And now I'm leaving Redos. If you ever uh, here or just passing by, remember, Redos was measured to minus 54 degrees in the winter. And it's a nice place to visit. Winter as a summer. If you are the if you are here, take a slow walk on the streets and really enjoy your stay. Redos is cool and really old. <laughs>